At this time, I'd like to welcome the next dance group to the stage. The Anchorage Unanga Dance Group, led by Ethan Pettercrew, includes members from nearly every village in Unangam Tana, the Aleutians, Pribilofs, Shumigans, and Western Alaska Peninsula. To carry on the legacy and fulfill a vision, several original members of the Atka dancers formed the Anchorage-based dance group more than 10 years ago. The group is gaining popularity and has performed all over the state at several events, including the Alaska State Fair and the Alaska Native Science and Engineering Gathering. The Anchorage Unangak Dance Group carries on the tradition of their predecessor, the Atka dancers, and leaves audiences in awe with their traditional, vibrant, and energetic performances. So they're getting lined up, so um, we'll just wait a second. Okay. Oh, they're here. Please welcome the Anchorage Unangak dancers. Yes, good. Hello, hello, friends, our friends. Um, we are the Unangak dancers. We're actually, it says Anchorage Unangak dancers. Many of us reside in Anchorage, but uh, there's a large group of us that came straight out of Atka, not straight out of Africa, straight out of Atka. And uh, that's about 1,200 miles from Anchorage out in the Aleutians. And then I don't know how far it is from Anchorage to here, so these guys really came far. Our group is uh, uh, comprised, we all can trace our families to every village in the Aleutians and the Western Peninsula, where I want to explain a difference because I think people get confused on who we are. We're Unanga. Can everybody say that word with me? It's really easy. There's two, three things in it. I'll say it real slow for you. Unanga. Say that with me. Unanga. One more time. Unanga. Perfect. Everybody calls us Aleut, but really that's a Russian term for us. It's not our word. Um, and so, and when they call us that, it puts us into a big group of people who don't even speak the same language as us. For instance, people from Prince William Sound and Kodiak, Suhstun speakers, we're Unangam Tunu speakers. We can't understand each other at all. Our cultures are very similar. I think maybe similar to like Klinket Haida Simsian, but our words and that are very different. By the way, which we have connections with you folks, we always are looking for things. We say yes the same way the Haidas do. I think you guys say ang. We say ang. We also say that for hello and welcome. Uh, and we, um, I think we have an old word that's very close to the slingit of our word for steam bath is chayach. And I think chay is your word for steam is what I've been told. So we know we have these connections. We also know we have ancient connections during Russian colonial period with some of the clans down here as well as uh, we have ancient stories that talk about our people arriving on the outer coast here before Russian contact and the people here living in houses that were covered in the skin of the trees, the bark. So to me that says that we were here long before Russians were here and that we were connected with your folks. And with that I want to dedicate this performance tonight to a couple of people in particular. Um, I was born in Wrangell. I'm uh, one of those Unangas that was left behind here in uh, World War II, well actually my mother. And there's plenty of us here, there's quite a few of us actually. Um, I want to dedicate this to an uncle of mine and his wife who have, have passed now, they're no longer with us, many of you know them. Mike Everson and Selena Everson. I hope their children are here tonight, I'd like to acknowledge them if they are. Uh, they did so much for me, my uncle and aunt, and I want to thank them. And so I'm dedicating this to them and to all of the Unangak people and our ancestors who were brought down here during World War II and put in our camps, such as Kilisnu and the people of Angoon were, were very thankful and recognized the help that they gave our people during a very sick uh, period of time for us. We also, um, I want to dedicate this to the descendants of those Unangak people, for those of us then, who, were, who remained here in Southeast and at times felt left behind. I know that feeling, um, but I am also very thankful to have grown up here because uh, Slingit people embraced me um, and made me one of them. So ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce you to Kadam Ediga, who is gonna talk to you quickly also about Atrach. Um, 
ang huzuchich, ang kuluzas, unangas akus, unangam tanangin ilagan ang yachtenas, unangam kadanginges, kadangingin unangam tanangin ilagan ang yachtenas. Tichich tingin uyachtena ischena tichich karasakus. Imchich taleri tunas mal tingin uyachtena tichich ischena tingin makatakus. Ukudigaso nuru ta kachich anuktakus. Ang everyone, ang natives of this region, we are the Unangas. We come from the Unangam Tanangin, Unangam Tanangis, the Unangach lands, islands. Our ancestors are from the Aleutian Pribilof villages, and we are happy to be here. We are thankful to you all for the invitation to come here and dance. We want to dance for you, and this is why we are thankful and happy to be here. We wish and hope to see you all again and to see you well. <clears throat> I want to give a quick uh, recognition to our uh, village of Atka that sponsored those of us who traveled from Atka, as Khanglagech <clears throat> mentioned, and also to give a thank you and recognition to uh, to my dad, my father, Kasudam uh, Lakaya, for uh, planting the seed for the Unang Dance Group many years ago and bringing Kanglagech to Atka along with Tenragem Ayaga. And <clears throat> for uh, uh, thank you also to my mother, Tugidam Ayaga, who translated many of our dances, many of the songs, into Unangam Tunu for us. Kagaskuk, everyone. Ukudigaso, Nurutakachik, and Nuktakus. Quick big thanks to Aleutian Pribilof Islands Association, Aleutian Pribilof Islands Community Development Association, the Alaska State Council on the Arts, the Native Village of Atka, the Aleut Foundation, a whole bunch of folks who sponsored raffles, guys who did split the pot, uh, bonfire gear, and of course the Epicta workers here in Juneau who have given us their personal vehicles. That's what it's taken to get this whole group here, so kagasakuk, thank you. Now, now we're gonna dance for you, no more talking for a while. So what you're gonna see is a whole bunch of fast dancing for the first set, first 10 minutes of our dances. We'll be doing a trade song from the Koryak set we received. It's a meant to clear the space of any negativity. You'll see ancient prayer included, Unangach prayer that was recited in the early morning. We'll go into a throat singing song, which is a very, the creation of our ancestors, basically when we fell from the sky. You'll hear the ladies singing with their throats and that's when the grass will come up. Uh, then there will be a number of dances, uh, our Iminga Kasakan, which is uh, prayer feathers will be sent out, and then uh, a dance which will start the beginning called Kadangis. It's uh, when the two ancestors came together and fell to the earth. Um, at that point, we're going to do group dancing, and all these are going to run right into the next one. You'll notice that you'll know what they are when you see them. Then we'll be doing our seagull dance, our seal dance. Um, we love to flirt in the illusion, so um, you're going to come out and see us do a ayahawa, and our literal translation for that is, oh, wow, what a woman. Um, and you're, you're going to know it, and it's a story of all our lives. I don't care what culture you come from. The, you fall in love with these beautiful things, and then eventually some point, choo, get away. Nanga. So when you hear the ladies say, nanga, they're telling them, no, get away. So, um, and then we'll be in, uh, ending with uh, tung tung, which is a men's drumming. Uh, thank you. I want to shout out to Akwan for letting us uh, perform our culture on your land. For being so gracious, Akwan. Thank you.
love you, Southeast. Our next dance is called Alit Khuk. We don't come down to war, we come down to have fun and party, but we want to show you our war dance. Uh, this is Alit Khumangachi, which means our dance for fighting. But we don't want to fight, we just want to... Uh, well, some of these young people are looking for honeys, so... This next song is Aruch Yakuch. Aruch Yakuch is uh, uh, the tide is rising, the wind is getting stronger. We're in a, a something in our language we call a nigalach, which is an open skin boat, like, much like your ocean going canoes. Um, and we're traveling to a ukamach, which is your like kuich or potlatch. Um, so this is a song about us traveling to a big party, and we just love dancing this one because it, girls love it. They get to sit down and do a bench sitting um, and make the guys stand and dance. But it's also a good song because we're talking about getting, the wind is getting stronger, the current is getting harder, and finally we see land. Pachi!
This time we'd like to do something very special that probably hasn't been done in hundreds of years, I know. Um, I think the last time a group of Unangach people were down here was in the 40s, and we were in no condition to be gifting. Um, it's when we were put in camps, five camps within your region, and all of our villages were decimated for four years. So, um, but we know that our traditions have long historic connections, and we, I talked about our pre-contact connections. We also know that during Russian colonial period, one of our women in Unangamtana in the Aleutian Islands married a Kiksadi man uh, from Southeast Alaska. He came and he lived amongst us. And upon her death, when he returned to his homeland, they sent a series of songs with him for the Kiksadis to have. At this point, I'd like to call on the Shkatkwan Kiksadi, uh, if you would come up, please. Tashi, Teikshak, Tunashawat, Haku, Hakala. We are going to gift the Kiksadis a song tonight from our region, in keeping with this ancient, ancient tradition uh, between our people. We want to present them with a gift that they will have forever. Um, and this song will belong to all Kiksadi, so Shkatkwan Kiksadi, Shitkakwan Kiksadi, and Sanyakwan Kiksadi, the three main uh, Kiksadi capitals. Uh, this song will be their song to be able to be used forevermore after this. Could I get my Kangalagi dancers ready? We know that this dance uh, has a lot of steps involved with it, so we're going to present it tonight, and I promise I'll be working with you folks. We'll clinketize it with you, uh, and if we need to change the words even, and we're going to give you the permission to do that, to put it in your own beat even. But forevermore, this is, uh, you're the witnesses, folks, that this song is being transferred, given, and gifted um, from the creators of this song. The composers of this song were Kakanach. Raise your hand, please. Kadamiliga. Right here's Kadamiliga, Kanlagech, and Tanragem Ayaga. As well, there's a number of other folks that aren't here, but that's the composers of the song. And I'm going to have Kazam uh, Iriga give you the translation in Unangam Tunu. We'll also print it out so, you, so our, our, our Kiksadi relatives don't have to uh, memorize it here. Kanglagas igachta nadik aslan machadas mazas. As the ravens fly, they do mischief on others. They play tricks in order to live. They steal food from animals and people. They are thieves of the sky. Everything they see, they eat, also berries. Well, come on, us ravens, you know, we get hungry. <clears throat> I, I want to just add something to this, a special meaning to this gift. I know we have this traditional ancient connection, but for me, uh, I'm one of those boys who was born out of the internments uh, of Southeast and growing up felt left behind because all my people were back in the Aleutians except for a few families in Wrangell. And it's this family here that... Uh, took me into their blankets, basically, and uh, made me one of them. So it's my gift back to Shawat Shuku, the matriarch of this clan, um, and to those of my brothers and sisters, for everything you've done for me growing up. Thank you.
has a cup in his chest. For the kick studies of Southeast, you now have another song in your ownership. Kagasako. Ayush, Kevin, I just want to say from the uh, Shot Kwan Kiksadi, Guna Shish, from the bottom of our heart, this was a big thing, and we really do not take it lightly. We really appreciate what you have done today. Guna Shish. Oh, oh. We're so happy to leave some of our dancing down here. Now we know that our descendants down here and relatives will have be able to connect and see some of their dances. The other part, now this is sea otter dance, Chungatuk. It's just about sea otters swimming around in the Nezon Bay. Tuk. We're so pleased to be able to perform for you tonight. Uh, you make a, it's a warm, you're a wonderful audience. We just really love being here in Southeast. Everybody's talking about how tropical it feels and all the beautiful flowers, except the bees are scaring the girls. But uh, um, we're gonna end our set now because it's our time for this evening to be done. But we hope you can join us again at EP Hall on uh, Saturday. With, uh, some other dances we'll be doing as well. It's been a wonderful experience here. We're loving watching all of the traditions and cultures from Southeast. Um, and we're going to end now with a, a couple of dances, a fast set again, going into the ending. And then we'll be starting with Tigalak for, so now for all you eagles out there, here's your dance. Uh, this one is called Eagle Dance, and it's about eagles soaring in the high winds over Ngazang Bay. Uh, when, right before we get storms, we can tell because it's, eagles start moving high up and lots of them. And that's what this dance is about. From there, we're going to go into a dance called Chugina the Mayaga, which means the Chugina that woman. Uh, we have a traditional story, kind of like the Hawaiians, um, and that Pele woman who comes out of the volcano. We have one too, it's a Chugina da Kayaga, the woman who comes out of the volcano in Chugina da Island, and she doesn't realize how strong she is, but she's in search of a husband. She has this magic roll of gut she unravels and throws and travels from island to island looking for her man. When she finally gets to Akatan, She's on the mountainside and she sees this really gorgeous, handsome guy come out of uh, Ulasuk, which is our traditional houses. We, we came out, of our, we had a hole in the top that come out of the top, so we we're underground house. A uh, guy came out and she was so excited about him, she jumped down on him and grabbed him and didn't realize how strong she was and she killed the poor guy. <laughs> I know, Ishan. And so, uh, uh, and so, uh, the shamans were magic, though, and brought life back to both of them. A, a short story, a long story made short, so that's what this uh, one dance will be about. And then again, I told you earlier that we love to flirt in the Aleutians. You guys are so lucky, young, young people down here, you can flirt, you can go behind all those big trees and do some <laughs> kissing. But you, some of you guys have been to the Aleutians, you know how many trees we got. 
<laughs> not one, just grass blowing in the wind. So our, our, uh, our young people have to be really creative, and they're going to show you how, they, uh, how we uh, hide behind our trees in the Aleutians when they go out to kiss. You'll be able to tell which one that is. And we'll be ending tonight with our boys doing their little quick drum set. So once again, Juno, uh, Southeast Alaska, Clinkets, Haidas, Simpsians, thank you so much for having us in your homeland. Kagasa kukunas chishtan kyu. Hawa, Deutschland. <laughs>